Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to Tech Conversations. I'm your host Guillermo. It is April 25th. Hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Let me know in the comment section below if you think tomorrow will be a red day or a green day in the stock market. Now in today's video, I want to talk about a very powerful strategy that anybody who's selling covered calls should be aware of. This is a very simple strategy that can minimize our risk by a lot when selling covered calls. So it's very important and before I get into that, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe guys, it really helps out the channel. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys prefer to buy or sell options. Now with this strategy, of course, like I mentioned, we're basically gonna be selling covered calls, but we're gonna do something else to again, protect ourselves for a very low cost and it's very simple. So we're gonna protect ourselves uh, the goal from the strategy is to protect ourselves after purchasing our stock again for a very low cost we're still going to leave some upside profit potential just like when selling a covered call and we're going to want to utilize this strategy when near term we may be a little bit bearish on the stock for example if a stock has earnings coming up the earnings could cause a stock to drop five, 10 percent. I mean, if you take a look at Netflix last week, if you were selling covered calls on Netflix, Netflix dropped 10 percent. This may have been a strategy you would have wanted to utilize on Netflix last week. So we'll take a look at this strategy here. Now, the setup, of course, we're going to need 100 shares of a stock because, again, we're going to be selling covered calls. Uh, and so I'm going to be using NEO for this video because uh, A, I have enough shares to sell covered calls on NEO. B, this would have been a great strategy, a strategy I should have used on NEO a few months ago when it started to drop a lot. So let's take a look here. Let's go over to NEO. I have 210 shares of NEO stock, so I'm able to sell two covered calls. Uh, so let's go over to the options for NEO. So again, uh, this is going to involve selling covered calls, just like we usually normally do, uh, but we're going to do something extra as well. So remember, when it comes to selling covered calls, you have at least 100 shares of a stock to sell one covered call. Uh, and the way it works, remember, is you choose a strike price over here, and that strike price should be a price that you're comfortable selling your shares at. Because if on expiration, the share price is above your strike price, you're probably going to be forced to sell your shares at that price, right? So for example, I already sold a covered call for next week at the 42 strike. If on expiration on April 30, NEO is above $42 a share, I'm going to be forced to sell my 100 shares at $42 a share. I'm comfortable doing that. So that's why I chose that strike price. Now, remember for selling calls, you do receive a premium. You get paid to sell the call. For example, if you sold this right now, you would get paid $1.56 a share. And again, there's 100 shares in each one of these contracts. So you'd get about $156 for selling this call. So you get paid a premium. And if you do have to sell your shares, you can also make profit on that if, of course, you're selling your shares at a higher price than you bought them. So that's just a quick overview on how selling calls works. Now, let's imagine I haven't sold my call yet on NEO. Well, actually, let me first show you here where I would have wanted to use this a couple of months ago. So remember, a couple months ago, NEO was literally at $67 at its peak. Uh, and in literally about a month, it dropped to about $33. And I used to have 100 shares only back then, uh, but that was still a drop in my account of $3,400, right? Because I had 100 shares, and again, it was at 67 at one point, and I was holding my shares. It dropped to 33, and I never sold in between. So it literally made my portfolio go down by $3,400. So again, learn from my mistakes here. This is what I should have done uh, during this uh, time where Neil just kept dropping and literally 90 percent of stocks kept dropping just like this uh here's what i should have done so let's imagine here that uh, i have 100 shares of neo my average cost is 38.15 let's imagine i haven't sold my call yet let's imagine i'm barely going to sell my call so i would do that normally let's say i wanted to sell this call right here at the 43 strike i would go ahead and click on here again if on expiration neo is above 43 dollars probably going to be forced to sell my 100 shares of NEO at $43 a share. In return for selling this call, I'm going to receive $1.20 per share or about $120 per contract, right? Uh, so that's all great. But what happens if the same thing that happened back in February happens again, where NEO drops, you know, another 50, 60%. 
Well, we want to avoid that. We don't want to go through that. Well, we can do something that's very simple here. So I'm going to sell my call. This is an out of the money call, by the way. And at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy an out of the money put. So remember, out of the money for put basically is where the strike price is under the share price. So I'm going to buy a put basically that's down here somewhere. Now, depending on which strike you choose and how much you're paying, this may either be a credit or a debit. I'm going to go ahead and buy this put here at the 39 strike. This is going to cost me $1.01 a share. Uh, so I'm still actually going to receive a credit here. I'm actually going to receive about $19 uh, for doing this. So now I'm selling my call just like I'm, I regularly do, just like most of you guys do every single week. But I'm also buying this out of the money put. This is very important. This is going to limit our downside. And again, it's at a low cost. We're actually still getting a credit for doing this, right? Uh, it's not as much as if we were to just sell the covered call. But you're going to see how much it can help us. It can help us when the stock goes in the opposite direction. So this is going to be called a collar. The collar, okay? And this put that is actually known as a protective put it's going to protect us on the downside the great thing about this is our max risk will be limited because of the protective put that we're buying uh, however of course our max profit is also limited because of the calls sold and if you're just selling covered calls it's also limited uh, and we'll see how much it kind of changes depending on whether we're doing this caller or not so let's go over to the options profit calculator let's actually take a look at what this would look like so if we go to the options profit calculator under advanced, they actually have uh, a, a link for this, right? The caller here. So we're going to click on that and let's take a look at what this looks like and we'll compare it to just selling a call on its own. So again, we're using Neo here. Let's go ahead and click on Neo. Uh, so again, my average cost is 38.15 right now. So that's what I'm going to put here and I'll get price again here, right? So that cost me about $3,815. Then let's go ahead and start off by writing or selling our call. So I'm going to do the exact same trade I just did. Uh, so make sure your expiration date is correct. So we'll do April 30 and then we chose the 43 strike. Remember calls are on the left, puts are on the right. So here's the 43 strike. So we'll click on that. So again, we're going to receive $119 for writing or selling this call. But then remember we're buying an out of the money put as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy a put here again, same expiration 30, uh, April 30 here. And remember we chose the 39 strike for this, which is right here. Again, puts are on the right. So we're going to go right there. So again, we're still receiving a credit here of $19, which is not as much if we were to just sell the covered call. And again, we'll compare it here in a second, but let's take a look at how much this can actually save us when things go wrong. Uh, so th we'll go 30 to 45 for the stock price range. Let's calculate this here. So as you see here, according to this options profit calculator, uh, there's actually no risk here. So our entry cost, we're going to receive $19. That's going to be a credit. Our maximum risk is $104 plus $104. So no matter what right now, if I were to enter this trade, I'm not, I'm going to leave with a profit no matter what happens here. Uh, our max return will be $504. That's if it reaches $43. So this is pretty cool, right? If it drops down, if it falls down, uh, the great thing is that we're buying this out of the money put. And remember, what happens if we buy a put? So let's imagine NEO does drop under 39. What happens? This call that we sold will expire worthless. So we don't have to worry about that. Now remember, what, what does buying a put mean? Buying a put gives you the rights, but not the obligation to sell 100 shares at the strike price. So by buying this put, we have the right, but not the obligation to sell our 100 shares of NEO at $39 a share. And uh, since I bought my shares at $38.15 and I'm selling them at $39, I'm making $85. And I also received $19. So 85 plus 19 is $104. That, so I'm literally not leaving this trade without a profit. I'm going to receive a profit no matter what happens. However, 
Uh, let's say we were to just sell the covered call. Let's compare it to that. So let's go over here to a different window and we'll go to the covered call, which they have here under basic. Uh, so we'll do the same thing here. Uh, but in this scenario, we're not going to buy our protective put. So NEO uh, and we did purchase price of uh, our, our average price is 38.15. My average price is 38.15 here. And we're going to go ahead and click on this and then we'll sell the call. Remember, we're selling the 43 strike call here. Uh, and then the range we chose 30 to 45. So let's compare it here now without buying that protective put. So let's go ahead and calculate this. Well, now we're going to receive $119 instead of $19. So we are receiving $100 less, right? But look at our max risk. Our max risk is $3,695.90 if NEO were to drop to $0. Now, it's very unlikely NEO will drop to $0, especially in a week. Uh, but what if it dropped to like $30 on expiration? Well, now you're going to be down $700 on your total investment, right? Versus over here in the collar, if it dropped to 30 on expiration, we're still actually making $104 on our investment, right? The only downside now, of course, is if on expiration, uh, Neil's at 43. In this scenario, we're making $604. Uh, but in this scenario, we're only making uh, $504. So we're making $100 less by using the collar here but on the downside, again, if something happens, if earnings goes wrong or something's going on in the market that causes you know, a lot of stocks to drop, uh, in this scenario with the collar, as you can see on the downside, we're protected pretty well, right? We're still gonna leave this trade with $104, even if Neil drops to zero. When we're just selling the covered call without that protective foot, uh, put, uh, if, uh, Neil drops to zero, we could potentially lose $3,695. And if it even drops to 30, we're down $700 on our trade. So those would have been something very useful for me to utilize a month ago, right? When Neil dropped again from that $67 range to $33 range in a month, I should have utilized this strategy to limit my potential downside. Uh, instead, I was down $3,400. Uh, from holding on to NEO and not using the collar strategy for that. So as you can see, uh, this is the collar uh, strategy and this is how it looks like compared to just the covered call. So again, we're basically still selling covered calls, but we're buying a protective put uh, to again, limit our downside. Yes, we're gonna receive less premium, but at least on the downside, we're very well protected. So. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention, of course, is risk of early assignment. Anytime you sell an option, there is risk of assignment, uh, and that won't usually happen until expiration. However, early assignment does occur, and it's generally related to dividends. Uh, and short options that are assigned early are usually assigned on the day before the X dividend date. So early assignment does occur. It's generally going to be related to dividends. Again, it will usually be assigned uh, on the day before the X dividend date. So if you want to avoid early assignment, A, avoid the X dividend date week for a stock, or you want to close out at least two days prior to the X dividend date if you're selling options on a stock. Uh, so now, I always recommend, of course, closing out your position manually as well, especially if you're using Robinhood. Uh, I don't really like letting Robinhood close out my positions for me. Uh, that's just kind of a choice I like to make. So anyways, this is the caller strategy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.